ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, staff, friends and family of our family. Thank you for attending this year's award ceremony. At this time, I'd like to introduce the 2022-2023 John M. King, Ray Court Jr., RTC Jets. Our color guard team today is led by Cadet Second Lieutenant Willie Wheatley. Please rise for the March of the Colors and play our national anthem. Your cover. <coughs> Please welcome the exhibition trophy led by Cadet Sergeant Ethan Burn.
Ready, two. We're going. Good evening, family and friends, guests. Thank you for coming to support our cadets. We welcome you and thank you for your attendance. This school year blends a lot with last school year. Post pandemic, post lockdown, we at the school are facing some of the same challenges that some of your parents are. Your kids are lazy. <laughs> they don't want to do anything, they're unmotivated, they'd rather lay in bed through their phones, watch TV, pretty much anything besides what you're asking them to do. We see it. It happens in a classroom. Now that may sound like, oh wow, now we're starting off our achievements, our, our day of achievement. It is. And it's going somewhere. Because while your child does that at home, and even in school, somehow, somehow, they get this face, this angry face turning red with breath was popping out of veins, just shiver. They see that muscular man over there. <laughs> and every once in a while when we need them to, they do it. They get it done. I'm here to tell you, if you're seeing some of these challenges at home, I'm sure you are because I have children as well. If you're seeing some of these challenges, don't give up. They have it in them, they can do this. While each of the cadets being awarded today have done something to stand out, all of our cadets have successfully completed the program of construction for Marine Corps Junior ROTC. Not Air Force, not Navy, not Army. Marine Corps. As I say, this year blends in with last year. At the end of the year, last year we lost Master Arm Under for Marine Instructor. This year, we welcome Sergeant Ortega. He's come in and assumed his position, been a tremendous help taking over our community service efforts, our engagement in the community, which has resulted in over 2,000 hours of volunteer service and transitioned right into marksmanship, where our cadets are learning the principles of Marine Corps marksmanship and how to locate, destroy, identify, locate, and destroy an enemy. Sorry, Major Ortega, we're glad to have you with us. I'd like to, I'd like to point out and recognize some of cadets. Like I say, they've all done some impressive things. But some cadets went a little bit further. Over the course of the school year, we prepared for our Inspector General evaluation. Where Head First Marine Corps comes down, we looked at every facet of our program. Every single thing that we do, we're evaluating. We're evaluating the standard of a Marine. The week prior, 
to the IT valuation. Our co-guard was struggling. And our regional director happened to have placed the highest priority on the entire evaluation on our co-guard. Sensing a potential problem area, I brought in Judek Governor Sean Cleveland. I said, Cleveland, we need you. He's not much for words, but he smiled at me, and I could tell he didn't want to do it, because nobody wants to do the extra practice in the air show. He smiled at me, said, I got you. We ended up passing the co guard evaluation was outstanding. After, immediately after the inspection general evaluation, we began focusing on our North, Northern California drill rotational meet. All school year long, our commanding officer, Ted Baker, our Larry Martir Luna, and our company first sergeant, Cadet First Sergeant Evan Tom, every single day pushed our cadet after school in close order drill and color guard. They trained and mentored them. They refined their skills. They pushed them hard. They demanded. They stated that, that we say are struggling. They can't do it. Are pushing each other to get it done. On Saturday, we went against the school and the program across Northern California. We placed in the top three in every event we competed in and took second place. We took second place only to Whitney High School. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with the name Whitney, is in Rockland, California, over by Rosa, where I live. Tremendously resourced. Their uniforms are brand new. Their kids, while ours are in summer school, while ours are in summer school, their kids are practicing during summer. Color guard, exhibition, toss and rifle drum, post order drill. I know it's an opinion. Came in second place, that was a tremendous achievement and a proud moment for us all. I go back to your students, your children, our cadets. Lots of promise. This year's going to be different. I'm going to start focusing. This time, I've got it. I'm going to change. And then you know as well as I do, they don't make their bed in the morning. They don't help around with dishes. They don't take out the trash. They still don't help. Over the summer, Cadet Gunner Sergeant Lyle Chambers, the Cadet Captain Noir Santos, came to me and said, Sergeant Major, this year's going to be different. We're not only going to compete, we're going to win every event that we compete in. We know we're going to do it because we're going to lead it. And I thought the same thing you might think when your kids said, Mom, I'm going to start listening. Dad is starting now, I'm starting to do my homework. And then they don't. I got the same thing, oh, that's cute. You guys want to eat something? And then we went out. <laughs> Our first event was a softball game at Whitney High School. On their own field, we played four games. We went undefeated and took first place in softball. That took momentum, that established momentum for the rest of the school year. Chambers and Santos organized, planned for trained and led every single event we competed in the school year and placed top three in every single event. The cadets I just mentioned epitomize what our program is about, volunteerism and leadership. They volunteer, they said, I'll do it. I've got this, trust me. They planned, they organized, they prepared their cadets, and then they led the way. All the while, Sergeant Major Ortega and I were watching like, oh, Yes, we're not needed here. It's exactly what the program is all about. We're saying goodbye to class of 2023, the most talented group of cadets that had the privilege, privilege of serving. And with what we just experienced last weekend at NorCal, I'm confident to say that the torch has been passed to a new generation of cadets. We're forging our path to greatness. We're on our way to elite performances. It may not be next year, it may not be the year after, but we will be with you. We will be the number one program in Northern California on our way to national competition.
Thank you very much. We hope you enjoy the ceremony. And thank you again for coming. Now we present this year's Verity Cadets. Will the following cadets please stand if your name is called? The recruiting award is presented to cadets who have contributed to the growth of the unit by taking an active role in recruiting cadets into the Marine Corps Junior Volunteer Program. The recruiting ribbon award is awarded to Cadet Lance Corporal Elani Vang, Cadet First Sergeant Evan Zong. Cadet Private First Class, Milani Ferrara. Cadet Lance Corporal, Nahara Montezer. Cadet Lance Corporal, Nevada Angle. Cadet Sergeant, Hannah Gonzalez. Cadet Private, Quinton Smith. Cadet Private, Justin Ingram. Cadet Corporal, Solomon Phillips. Cadet Private Pablo Nuno. Cadet Private Jada Lee. And Cadet Vice Corporal Brian Wills. <laughs> the Band, Drum, and Bugle Awards is presented to those cadets who distinguish themselves in the school's band drum and bugle corps or orchestra. The band drum and bugle ribbon is awarded to Cadet Sergeant Ethan Barrera, Cadet Corporal Martin Long, Cadet Lance Corporal Brian Wills, and Cadet Lance Corporal Brian Wills. The drill team award is presented to cadets who comprise the unit drill team and drill team competition. The drill team ribbon is presented to Cadet Lance Corporal, Cadet Lance Corporal Ilana Bay, Cadet Lance Corporal Brian Penn, Cadet Private Matthew Cleaver, Cadet Lance Corporal Kenneth Guzman, Cadet Lance Corporal Valeria Cisneros, Cadet Private Kimberly Chaban, Cadet Private First Class, as well. Cadet Private First Class, Angela Huerta, Cadet First Sergeant Evan Zong, Cadet Lance Corporal Gavin Jane. Cadet Lance Corporal Sebastian Lee. Cadet Lance Corporal Thomas C. Cadet Lance Corporal Caden Jones. Cadet Sergeant Milo Christopher. Cadet Sergeant Leon Rover. Cadet First Lieutenant Chupe Thao. Cadet Major Lauren Boyd. Cadet Private Dominic Adamin. Cadet Corporal <coughs> Solomon Phillips. Cadet Lance Corporal Ronaldo Bernal. Cadet Private First Class Eric Kenneth McClellan. Cadet Lance Corporal Naima Vincent and Cadet Private Evan Newton. The Color Guard Award is presented to cadets who distinguish themselves as a member of the colors of the unit's Color Guard. The Color Guard ribbon is awarded to Cadet Lance Corporal Bayang. Bayanda Bang. <laughs> Cadet Private First Class, Melanie Ferrero. Cadet Lance Corporal, Caden Jones. 
Cadet Second Lieutenant Leala Ellis. Cadet Corporal Solomon Phillips. Cadet Lance Corporal Ronaldo Bernal. Cadet Lance Corporal Naima Benson. Cadet Lance Corporal Levin. <laughs> Cadet Second Lieutenant Willie Cleveland. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Eliza Chamber. And Cadet Captain Ibarra Santos. Cadet Lance Corporal Brandon Lugosi. 
Lieutenant Sergeant Michael Donald. Cadet Part of First Class Christy Denton. Cadet Class Cadet Part of First Class Timothy McGorry. Cadet Private First Class Eric Kenyon McGuan. And Cadet Lance Corporal Naima Benson. Timothy McRoy. Cadet Private 
Gabriel Sloan. Cadet Prophet Aiden Smith. Cadet Sergeant Tim Timothy. Yeah, as you were. Pause. Cadet Sergeant David Summer. Cadet Lance Corporal Brian Tan. Cadet Lance Corporal Brandon Rugazi. Cadet Lance Corporal Maitya May. Cadet Private Dominic Adami. Cadet Lance Corporal Thomas Z. Cadet Sergeant Ethan Barrera. Cadet Second Lieutenant Willie Cleveland. Cadet Private First Class Stephen Cortez. Cadet Lance Corporal Amari Henderson. Cadet Sergeant James Kuspajabi. Cadet Major Lauren Boy. Cadet Corporal Rosante Ramirez. Cadet Captain Imora Santos. Cadet Sergeant Sahara Delar. Cadet Private Jacob Escobar. Cadet Sergeant Anna Rosales. Cadet Lance Corporal Shayan Sayyid Lord. Cadet Private Christopher Hager. Cadet Second Lieutenant Leoni Jampier. Cadet Lance Corporal Naomi Morales. Cadet Sergeant Christopher Milo. Cadet Corporal Amayo Montezero. Cadet Corporal Solomon Phillips. Cadet Corporal First Class Nick Brusnack. Cadet First Lieutenant Tupac Tao. Cadet First Sergeant Evan Zong. Cadet Lance Corporal William Yang. Cadet First Lieutenant Lady Cassandra Olivia. Cadet Lance Corporal Austin A. Cadet Private First Class Mark Bergenis. Cadet Private Kimberly Jamon. Cadet Lance Corporal Larry Cisneros. Cadet Second Lieutenant Ayala Elvis. Cadet Lance Corporal Sebastian Lee. Cadet Lance Corporal Kenneth Guzman. Cadet Lance Corporal Gavin Jans. Cadet Sergeant Arjun Maharaj. Cadet Lance Corporal Zahara Montezer. Cadet Private Evan Duyan. Cadet Lance Corporal Jesse Rodriguez. Cadet Corporal Abby Seychard. Cadet Private Daniel Talamanca. Cadet Private Abdul Sultani. And Cadet Lance Corporal Delani Bang.
Can I ask Corporal Nixie? Hold on, And Cadet Sergeant Hannon Vintone. The Best Field Cadet Award is presented to a cadet or cadet who demonstrates superior performance in comparison with other cadets in the close quarter drill. The following cadets, the following cadets excel in testing our guide arm manual, sword manual, and as unit leaders, and are awarded the Best Field Cadet Ribbon. Cadet Captain Levy Chang. Cadet Major Valer Martin Luna. Cadet First Lieutenant Annie Garland. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Eliza Chambers. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Lauren Orient. Good evening. Cadet Major Lauren Orient. Cadet Sergeant Christopher Mondo. Cadet Corporal Martin Long. Cadet First Lieutenant Lady Cassandra Olivia. And Cadet Second Lieutenant Mayala Ellis. <laughs> the Civic Service Award is presented to outstanding community service or normally unit participation performed by cadet in a season of 60 hours. The Civic Service Ribbon is awarded to Cadet Lance Corporal Nevaeh Ogolo, Cadet Captain Levy Chan, Cadet Sergeant Leon Rutherford, Cadet Captain Imor Santos, Cadet Captain Azure, Cadet Gunner Sergeant Elijah Chambers, Cadet First Lieutenant Aiden Garza. Cadet Corporal Martin Long. Cadet Major Blair Martin Luna. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Gabriel Regal. Cadet Lance Corporal Thomas Z. Cadet Sergeant Ethan Barrera. Cadet Second Lieutenant Willie Cleveland. Cadet Major Lauren Bonin. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Luis Angel Ochoa. Cadet Corporal Solomon Phillips. Cadet First Lieutenant Chupin Dow. Cadet First Sergeant Evan Dong. Cadet First Lieutenant Lady Cassandra Olivia. And Cadet Second Lieutenant Mayala Helms. The Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Award is presented annually to the cadet non-commissioned officer who has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities, discipline, character, military bearing, and military proficiency. The Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Ribbon is awarded to Cadet Gunner Sergeant Elijah Chamber. <laughs> Discipline, 
character, military bearing, and military proficiency. The outstanding cadet ribbon is awarded to Cadet Captain Kimura Santo. Yeah! Scott Morrison. 
The Scottish Rite JRTC Medal is awarded to a candidate who has encouraged and demonstrated Americanism by deeds or conduct through participation in extracurricular activities and unit sponsored community projects and has demonstrated exceptional dependability, character, self discipline, citizenship, and patriotism. This year's recipient is Cadet Second Lieutenant Elani John Pierce. <laughs> Thank you. 
COA medal is presented to the most outstanding NCO in the unit who has consistently exhibited the best military bearing, personal appearance, and leadership ability. This year's recipient is Cadet First Sergeant Evan Zong. <laughs> This year's recipient is Cadet Captain Levy Chen. Military Order of the World War. 
The MOAA, the MOWW, Bronze Medal, is awarded to an outstanding cadet, first year cadet who excels in the military and scholastic activities as, it, uh, as indicated by grades, extracurricular activities, individual and and devour and a desire to serve the United States. This year's recipient is Cadet Lance Corporal Ivana Bain.
Dr. Major Esparza will now present the graduating seniors with the completion certificates. Cadet First Lieutenant Major Cassandra Olivia. Cadet yeah. Gunner Sergeant Eliza Chambers. Cadet Captain Levy Chang. Cadet Second Lieutenant Willie Cleveland. Cadet First Lieutenant Hayden Garza. Leonie Jampier. Cadet Sergeant James Kuspajanda. Cadet Sergeant Arju Mara. Cadet Major Valeria Martir Luna. Cadet Major Valeria Cadet Major Lauren Oye. Cadet Private Pablo Nuno. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Luis Ochoa. Cadet Corporal Redonte Ramirez. Cadet Sergeant Leon Relifer. Cadet Gunner Sergeant Gabriel Rigo. Cadet Private First Class Nick. Rusnak. <laughs> Cadet Captain Yamara Santo. <laughs> Cadet First Lieutenant Shupei Tao. <laughs> Cadet First Sergeant Evan Zong. <laughs> and Cadet Lance, Cadet Lance Corporal William Yang.
can't believe you got a Lego set. Ladies and gentlemen, today's ceremony will conclude with our change of command. The old commanding officer, Cadet Major Blair Martino Luna, will pass on the organizational colors to the Cadet Second Lieutenant Leala Ellis. Attention to order. The regatta is delivered to the old team. From Senior Marine Instructor to Cadet Major Blair Martier Luna, thank you, Command. Effective third day of May, you will relinquish your command as the commanding officer of John F. Kennedy High School Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Command Corps. Sincerely, J. Esparza. Senior Marine Instructor, Sergeant Major, United States Marine Corps, retired. From Senior Marine Instructor to Cadet Second Lieutenant Leala Ellis, Assumption of Command. Effective third day of May 2023, you are assumed command at John F. Kennedy High School, Marine Corps Junior, Reserve Officer Training Corps. Congratulations on your selection to this position. Sincerely, J. Esparza, Senior Marine Instructor, Sergeant Major, United States Marine Corps, Retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Presence is so much more than appreciated to our cadets. 
I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to be CL. When I entered the program my sophomore year, really, I was surrounded by amazing leaders like my platoon sergeant my sophomore year, Luna, who I find myself acting like daily when I lead my own platoon. And my amazing platoon commander, Lady Cassandra Olivio, who has helped me along every step of the way, being a first year platoon sergeant. As CO, I want to be able to make our cadets feel heard and appreciated. I found the privilege to be six platoon, platoon sergeant this year, and being able to see them grow as individuals and as leaders has been one of the most amazing experiences ever, and I can't wait to see that for the whole company. Again, thank you all for being here tonight. I can't wait to talk to you after this. Thank you. our award day ceremony. Thank you for joining us and supporting our Marine Corps Junior ROTC cadets. Thank you.